Hey guys, so today we're going to be putting Arch Linux on the Pine tab, but you can use this exact set of steps to do the same thing on your Pine phone. And the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to get an S a micro SD card and we're going to need to flash jump drive to that. And once we flash jump drive to that micro SD card, if we're doing it for the Pine phone, we'll then turn off our Pine phone, slip in that jump drive micro SD card, and then turn it on. If we're doing it for the Pine tab here, we would do the same. We would flash jump drive to the micro SD card, then we would slip that micro SD card right into the micro SD card slot. I'm going to be showing the process on the Pine tab. It's much easier to see, but it's also the same process. So this way we can do the same thing. And once you boot up that jump drive micro SD card, you'll be greeted with a screen like this. And once you do that, you're going to plug USB into your tablet and then the other end into your laptop or desktop computer. And what this will do is jump drive when it's on, it creates an entirely new burnable device on your computer once once you get the USB cord hooked one end into your tablet or Pine phone, the other end into your computer. And at that point, the internal EMMC will show up as an external drive that is accessible to you on the computer. And from here, we'll simply flash it as we would to any other device. Say we were to flash to an SD card. Well, we're going to just substitute that SD card with the newly shown drive on the computer. And I'll go through that process. So that's the gist of what we're going to be doing today. We're actually using a nice little install script that Danknix put together, so that's pretty neat. And coming up, I will be talking about how I put this little internal SDR um, modification to create this little threaded end to screw on different antennas. So I'm going to go over that in a future video not too far away because why I'm putting Arch Linux on this Pine tab? Well, Arch Linux, if you look at my previous video on making a black Arch distro, uh, it's very easy to do. Watch my video on doing that for the Pine phone. The process is the same for the Pine tab, and that's what I'm going to be working on today. At this point, I'm now going to plug the Pine tab, or if you have a Pine phone, the Pine phone, USB in this end, USB to the computer on the other end. So at that point, we're going to next be on the computer's terminal. And you can use Etcher as well. So if you have Windows, I suggest using Etcher. We're going to be using DD today. So let's get started. So now we're on my laptop. I have my USB cord. One end is hooked into my laptop. The other end is hooked into my Pine tab. If you're doing a Pine phone, the same goes for your Pine phone. As I mentioned, the entire process is identical. If you're doing a Pine phone, just substitute the word Pine phone where I say Pine tab. First off, let me just tell you about some options for you. So we have this nice little installer script that just got uploaded, so I'm going to try it out. And I will put a link to this direct link in the description. What I want you to do is copy that address, then pull up a terminal, and we're going to use the wget command to download it. And we're going to be installing an encrypted setup of Arch Linux, Danked Linux, on my Pine tab today. And I want to show you, I did some benchmarks real quick for my computer. I was going to try substituting Two Fish or Serpent for AES, but after we're looking at these benchmarks and seeing how slow it would make my tablet, I decided I want to have the best performance possible. So I'm going to go with the default that's in the install script, the AES encryption, which is a proven encryption. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and download it by using wget and pasting that link we just copied a moment ago to the actual install script. And I will be setting up Black Arch actually, which is a great pen testing distro um, that actually is going to be built on top of Danked Nix Arch Linux. So this should be really nice for using software defined radio. Black Arch has the most extensive collection of pen testing and software defined radio tools 
that are out there on any distro. So let's get started. Let's get this going. So which image do I want to create? I want to create a Pine Tab image. If you have a Pine Phone, you'll go for the Pine Phone. I think I'm going to go for the Fosh, something I'm familiar with, and I'd like to get started quicker than going through the bare bones. So I'm going to pick the Fosh. I'm going to go ahead and use ext4 file system. Now, right here it shows all of our partitions and drives, and you'll notice up here is my encrypted hard drive on my computer. Now down here is the newly detected drive, so when you find out which device you want to burn to, if it's an SD card, it'll be the size of that SD card, so pay close attention to the size. Now the tablet has a 60-ish gigabyte drive, so I know it's this device. You can also find out by running DMESG command directly after plugging the USB end into your computer and tablet or Pine phone. And at that moment it'll show after you run that command exactly what has just been found and mounted. So you can use that as a reference as well. That's a little tip. Now I'm going to select the internal drive because I want to run Arch on my tablet and have Black Arch uh, at my fingertips. So let's go ahead and do that. SDB and I've got that and now of course you got this nice little ANSI. That's pretty nice. I like the blinking. I like the red text. Blinking, very cool. That's a good way to get someone's attention. So we're going to go ahead and confirm it. Now everything is being downloaded. It's going to check the hash and make sure the integrity of everything matches up. Now this is another way cryptography is used and when you run an algorithm over something, you know, it, it comes out a specific way. Now, if you were to, say, download during a man in the middle attack, for example, the hash may not actually match. And at that point, you'll know that someone may have modified a file. Usually, when you download something like an image, you need to check it on your own. This is going to take a little bit of time, and it says another 11 minutes. Now we need to enter a passphrase for our encrypted storage. Be sure to pick a very long password using numbers, letters, and various characters, upper and lowercase letters. In this way, it'll be much harder to crack. Awesome, so we're all done, it says. Don't pay too much attention to this message here unless you chose your SD card. You could have done the same exact process I just went over. Uh, let's turn it on and let's see what it looks like. As you can see, I still have Jump Drive booted up, but I wanted to show you each and every step. We're going to go ahead and take the micro SD card out directly after we turn it off. Make sure to turn it off first. Hold down the power button, and in a few seconds, it'll shut off. Okay, it's turned off. Now we can get the micro SD card out. And to do that, we're going to push on it, and it's going to come right back. We slip that micro SD card out. If you're doing your phone, you can do the same exact thing. Turn it off, take the micro SD card out. Now we are ready to power it on. Now I'm zoomed in on the tablet and I'm going to go ahead and get the files we need and set up the repository for Black Arch Linux. Now we're checking the checksum and what that does is it should match if it's the correct file. Now if someone were to have you know, changed that file, 
we would have an issue there and it wouldn't match up. So let's go ahead and check. Well, I'm looking at the page now. It looks like it matches perfectly, which means we're safe to run it. So let's go ahead and make it executable. Run it as root or using sudo. And it is installing the black arch key ring for us. It's now synchronizing the package database for us using both the Arch repositories and the Black Arch repositories. So let's go ahead and update everything so we can go ahead and install what we like. Select Y for installing and updating everything. And we're going to go ahead and select by category. You can also select Black Arch tools one by one if you like. And when I was going to install the entire system, it said it would use an additional 27 gigabytes. So keep that in mind. And I decided I don't need all 27 gigabytes. I just need what I need. So I'm going to go by category. Makes it a little easier. It gives me a lot more to try. So we're going to go ahead and list the tools now. We're going to do Black Arch Radio. So we do Pac-Man, capital S, then Black Arch dash radio. And we'll be able to install just the SDR radio tools. So we're going to go ahead and install everything that has to do with radio, of course. That's where we're going to begin. Now you can install password crackers, Wi-Fi, penetration testing tools, whatever it is that you're interested in. And, you know, these are all choices we all have to make. So my choices start with radio, and later I'm, I might show more of the options. But um, it's very easy to list those things. I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff in the description for you. So you'll be able to look at every available tool, every available category. Um, there's just a whole lot there, and it'll be difficult to fit into this video. So we're just going with the radio tools today. And at this point, we have Black Arch. The repository is added, meaning when we look up and install things, we'll now be able to not just search the Arch repository. We'll also be able to search the Black Arch repository, which, as I mentioned, a ton of gigabytes of extra tools. So this is a really good option for people who have an interest in InfoSec or, you know, cybersecurity or open source intelligence, all these things Black Arch has. So this is perfect to me for my tablet. I'm really happy and excited about this. I have this, you know, SDR with internal with a port on the outside. So it's, it's a really nice portable SDR kit. And I'm looking forward to sharing videos with you guys on Software Defined Radio and LoRa too. So keep that, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. This is going to save me a ton of time because I've been compiling radio tools on the operating system I was coming from, and it's just time-consuming to have to get the libraries and all the prerequisites. All that stuff takes a ton of time. I just want to get down to business. I want to start playing more with the radio, and I'm doing that at a much faster rate by installing Black Arch. Okay, it looks like I have my radio tools installed. So this is very cool, very nice. We even have some on the front, and a lot of them are command line. So s subscribe and like, share this video, and I will be back later with more on Black Arch, Arch Linux, PinePhone, PineTab, and protecting your privacy.